My name is Barbara Johnson. Uh, I've been here now uh, for 15 years. Uh, I used to live here when I was a kid, but uh, my mom owned a restaurant down the street. And uh, so I have a lot of knowledge of how this area has changed and how now we have the constant problem of uh, trying to breathe. Like right now, you can stay out here for a certain period of time, and if you're talking and breathing the air, you can feel your throat begin to get sore. I have one grandson who has chronic asthma and that it keeps him, keeps him either in the hospital or at home. He lives in West Oakland. He lives right a block from one of the therapists of what trucks, uh, the truck route is for trucks coming in and off the port. A person can be walking down the street and a big truck can go by and exhaust from the truck can be a trigger for that person. I think one of the things we have to pay attention to is the amount of air pollution right here in West Oakland and downtown Oakland. Electric vehicles and electric trucks would be a tremendous benefit for the community because it would reduce the um, pollution load in the air and uh, the environment and would, would therefore have um, great benefits to the people in, uh, who live in this zip code and would, would reduce the um, disparate impacts, the uneven health um, disparities that are felt by people who live here. There is a uh, dis disproportionate uh, impact in the city of Oakland, who gets to breathe clean air? Or who has the right to breathe clean air? Our biggest hurdle right now is making the city of Oakland be more proactive, more pacific, more robust in looking at air quality. Well, I would say like this here, I've been at this for almost 30 years in this one community. I'm just being relentless. And, and, and relentless and passing on what, what I have done and the information to others.